Wednesdays have typically seen the highest returns for the Bitcoin bulas of the world. And as we'll go over in today's video, there are several higher term time frame setups that are starting to coalesce and the spark might just be lit. It might just be lit. It's lit <laughs> starting today. So I do want to be bringing the whole picture in together. As always, I want to welcome you back to the Air Crown Crypto channel and let's get right into this one. So first things first, Wednesday, as you can see on the board right here is actually a coin flip in terms of whether it's likely to close positively or negatively since the beginning of 2020. 24, but, but on those days that it has closed positively, it has actually seen the highest positive returns at 4%, actually over 4% on average, on, you know, on average, which is kind of crazy. Um, for the losing Wednesdays, we have seen an average negative return of just over 2%. So putting that into perspective in terms of actual price action, let's see what that would look like on the board right here to the upside 4% from today's open would put Bitcoin basically at all-time highs um, or right around prior all-time highs, you know, that would be 73,500 or so. Um, on the other side, we can see that if Bitcoin were to lose 2% from today's open, that'd put Bitcoin back down around about 69,250. I am a little bit biased towards an upside resolution in this case. Not only is Wednesday Bitcoin's biggest positive return day, but it's also just Bitcoin's most volatile day, especially since 2024 began as well. As you can see right here, the delta between high and low of the current, of not the current range, but the daily range um, is almost five and a half percent, which is head and shoulders above just about any other day. Um, and, uh, and if there's ever going to be a breakout, Wednesday is probably the day for it to for it to be happening. That is your volatile day. Also, a lot of economic events happening on Wednesday as well. It's probably a good correlation right there. Anyways, I want to follow up on one of our setups, um, the 12 hour setup that we had going on right and over here. This one has actually been closed as of yesterday's price action. So uh, very much lackluster in terms of results from this one as you know, we were looking for a bigger move than this, obviously. But at the end of the day, a win is a win and uh, and life goes on and we wait for the next setup, although there are several other ones that we can reference going on from here. But this one basically opening up around 69, closing around 71. I mean, it's not a terrible trade, obviously, but uh, but certainly not comparable to a lot of the big winners that we have seen um, over the past year or so. So moving on from there, we still have this major setup going on right here, which is the five day volatility versus stochastic momentum setup. And we can see that BBWP on the five day time frame is of course at extreme lows, but is starting to get a slight tick up right here. So is this gonna be the move that actually does bring it upwards and onwards, thus confirming this actual setup, which would obviously favor the upside as five day stochastic momentum is positioned to the upside right now, especially as long as Bitcoin's above 61,720 on this next uh, five day period. Well, yes, I'd have to say yes, it certainly does favor that. And of course, when we go ahead and reference these statistics over here, we can see that out of all 15, out of all 15 of these prior setups that we've seen throughout Bitcoin's full history, whenever the whenever the stochastic oscillator has been positioned to the upside, it actually has resulted in a pretty sizable upside move. Again, it's not always going to work like that. I do expect a loss to happen, you know, at some point. Um, but <laughs> for right now, it's have to kind of favor the upside. Average return on this one for the upside moves has been just over 41%. And taking that from the current base, where that essentially suggests in terms of uh, in terms of price, let me actually get the measurement tool out right in over here. That would suggest from the base, about 87,000-ish bucks. And we do take that, or sorry, we do expect that to take about just over a month, just over a month. Um, so we'd probably be looking for some from somewhere over here. We're probably looking, you know, around end of June, maybe early July for the totality of that move to happen. Again, I am making an assumption here that Bitcoin does see volatility expansion happen from this particular region. The reason why I'm making that assumption is one, because it's been down here for quite some time, uh, comparable to, you know, other extreme compression phases that we have seen for Bitcoin. And two, you know, the stars are kind of aligning in the background, I do believe as well, with other setups that do, you know, kind of uh, further corroborate this story. Going on over here, we can see that this six hour time frame setup that we spoke about a few days ago is still very much active as well. This one fired off um, pretty much around the lows of the last couple of weeks, uh, 67,300 or so. Um, and this one still has some more to go in terms of actual, uh, you know, in, in, in terms of when it's going to be likely to close. Um, again, for a performance summary on this one, we can see that the average amount of bars and winning trades 
Actually, uh, oh, I did I did actually play around with the settings a little bit more. I did make it even more greedy in taking profit. Um, and the average the average winning trade now is you know under 30%, just under 30%, with the average losing trade at uh, just under 9%. Um, again, keep in mind that this is a that this particular setup right here does have uh, you know a pretty low strike rate, at least in you know what I consider at 39.5% uh, of all of these uh, trades being closed profitably but because of the way that this one manages risk and the way that it is so greedy and take a profit um, you know it does still have a nice positive equity curve over time that continues to make those higher highs and higher lows which is what we're most interested in anyways putting that into perspective as far as numbers goes we can see that from this particular entry if Bitcoin were to play out the move you know nearly 30% move from uh, from that, actually, I have to raise the roof here. We need to raise the roof. It's off the charts. It's crazy. This target is just off the charts right now. Uh, what do you know? 29% from that entry is actually 87,000 bucks as well. So we see two different things, two completely different things, I should add. Um, so dusting around the same area. Uh, as far as timing goes for this one, we can see, if I blow this up as well, or actually you can't see because my face is in the way, but this one would take on average in the winning trades 88 bars uh, with these particular settings. So let's see what that would look like, or sorry, what time that would imply, because we already have the open from that. So 88 bars in terms of the wins would put Bitcoin, or sorry, the uh, the exit likely somewhere around actually the 15th of, uh, of June. So maybe that's like a lower end you know the lower end of this trajectory again these are averages we expect variance around these but it does give a you know it does give a pretty good baseline in general um just for contrast the average amount of bars and losing trades is 32 and i think that we're probably already past that point let's see what that would actually look like um 32 bars yeah happened over here on the first of june so the more that bitcoin you know goes to the right <laughs> in terms of time which is the one constant in all of this equation uh, the more and more like this one is to be a winner so um what is the picture that i'm starting to paint here the picture that i'm starting to paint here is that if bitcoin was going to break down and play out a correction first before continuation we probably would have expected it to happen yesterday yesterday was of course um the highest negative return day as well as the most likely to close negative day and instead bitcoin actually took a nice leg up which we haven't really seen on a tuesday in a very long time actually and um with bitcoin i mean pretty much around prior all-time highs uh, you know <laughs> i mean basically is at all-time highs as far as far as i'm concerned maybe for the newer people not so but in my mind like anything above seventy thousand bucks like what the fuck hey what what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean bitcoin is <laughs> you have to pay seventy thousand bucks for a bitcoin the fuck man <laughs> doesn't even do anything well you can actually buy and sell it on traditional exchanges now so that's pretty cool um but what does it do i don't know doesn't matter man we're just we're, we're just here to shill um anyways uh in terms of this particular setup i do think that it does deserve some recognition although i know the you know the pure status statistics statisticians out there uh are gonna you know argue the point on this one and fair enough you know it, that that is true but this one with a basically 40% strike rate, um, has seen, whoops, I'm trying to get rid of this right here, has seen the last one, two, three trades on this setup be losers. Um, so what is the likelihood that we see the fourth trade uh, be a loser as well? Well, it would be 40% prob or 39.5% probability. In my experience though, when you get a string of losers or winners, usually you're gonna see it come back into the average crazy i know i know but <laughs> typically do see that um, in my experience um anyways uh so yeah we have that going on as well and um you know what would what would negate all of this well now it's actually very very simple um bitcoin anywhere below last week's low uh, would do it for me. Six, 66 and a half thousand bucks. You see Bitcoin below there? Okay, fine. Play to correction first, and all of this is wrong, and send it, send it to hell, kill crown, hang him, tar him, and feather him, and I don't know, burn him at the stake as well. But, <laughs> assuming that that doesn't happen, which I do believe is starting to become, become more and more probabilistically speaking likely, uh, you know, Bitcoin probably trades sideways enough from here um, into the end of this month of June. Um, and we come back at it. We come back at, at it after that, or probably just tomorrow yet again. Um, I did want to call out a few other things because there are a few other things, and I think they deserve some recognition as well um, that we pointed out earlier uh, throughout this week. Um, and one would be the daily. Let me just go over here to Bybit. I think I already have this one done out. 
um, the daily, the daily stochastic momentum trend line here, go, uh, governing the last few lows from January, January 2020, uh, sorry, January 23rd of 2024, and then the more recent ones in um, in middle of April. I'm actually curious where these kind of correlate on chart, and we see that uh, Bitcoin has yet again bounced off of this regression. So I do look at that as well. Uh, interesting and as you can see right here this one this one calling the actual low this one over here actually not um not doing a good job in terms of the current momentous bounce but in terms of just price if we were to draw a nice line between there in terms of regression i mean pretty much around the low as well and by the way the secondary test right here which you can see did happen um coming off of that same trend line so Anyways, uh, this 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 particular trend line test coming on a higher low as well. So I do look at that as you know a good thing I, again in in the in the eyes of the boo laws here. Uh, but other than that, all higher term time frames are going to be suggesting upside momentum as long as Bitcoin is above basically sixty eight thousand five hundred. Here's the weekly, the five day. We already went through that one. That one's way way down low at sixty one uh, seven. Two week time frame turns up above seventy thousand bucks, which Bitcoin's above right now. In the monthly time frame, which we just got a new one, is 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 up as long as Bitcoin's above six sixty six thousand dollars. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, I have to continue to favor the upside from here. Um, you know, when you just look at the monthly chart, just in, in its in its naked eye view, I mean, don't need to make it super complicated, I guess. Like, hey, what do you know? Here was let me get rid of all this all this shit. Get that shit out of my out of my charts. Retest broke broke above the prior time high on a closing basis. Retested it, boom, and trend most likely. Anyways, um, that's probably a good place for me to be leaving off on this particular video. As always, I want to wish you the best, best. If you found this content valuable or in some way meaningful or useful, or if you even hate it, please do consider liking and subscribing. Um, doesn't really matter right now though, because well, things are rather quiet. But we're coming to, coming back at it tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow I have a really really big announcement. Um which I will be on another channel for, which I'm really excited for. And it's gonna offer a major opportunity um, for the price of free for everyone out there, which I'm really excited for as well. Anyways, uh, cool. I'll save that announcement for tomorrow. As always, I wanna wish you the best, best. Take care, much love, and see you hopefully Thursday.